U.S. President Joe Biden is spending the entire day preparing for his annual address to Congress, during which he is expected to discuss a range of important issues. This year, his speech is particularly significant as it will serve as a platform for his campaign leading up to the November elections. VOA's Paul Ndiho joins us live from Capitol Hill with more insight on tonight's speech. Hello, Paul. Hello, Esther. So what's the significance of the address uh, tonight and some of the issues the president might be addressing? Uh, very significant indeed. Uh, this is going to be President Joe Biden's uh, last uh, State of the Union address uh, uh, before the elections uh, in November. Uh, there are a lot of things at stake. The stakes couldn't be higher. But what I think he needs to do tonight is to draw a clear contrast between him and President Trump. And he's a skilled uh, politician who, is, who has the ability to do that. Uh, we've seen him play a significant role. He's a crafted uh, orator. So I think uh, this is something that uh, he's definitely going to uh, talk about, he, not trying to appeal to the Democrats, or, but he's going to uh, use this speech to appeal to the nation, uh, evoke emotion, some sort of emotion, but also speak about some of the things, the achievements that he has accomplished during his term. And uh, one of the other things that I think he's going to talk about is going to talk less about Trump but focus on appealing to the consciousness of the American people. And on the domestic and foreign policy, what should we expect uh, President Biden to address? Uh, great question. Uh, on the domestic policy, at the end of the day, all politics is local. But uh, he certainly has a, an uphill battle to, uh, to rally support for himself and to convince the American public that he's still the right guy for the job. Uh, on, in terms of foreign policy, yes, there is going to be issues with uh, uh, funding the war in Ukraine, uh, funding uh, the war in Israel. Uh, technically speaking, you have United States uh, playing, uh, playing a role in both wars, but uh, there is lack of funding. So that's something that he has to tackle going into uh, these elections. Oh, uh, uh, right. And, and very quickly, there are, of course, concerns about his age, women's rights, they are, they are soaring inflation, as you mentioned. What are analysts predicting uh, he might say to address those issues? Well, age is a big concern, but I come from a continent where we associate age with wisdom. And uh, President Joe Biden could use that to rally support from young voters. You could use that uh, to appeal to the consciousness of the American people. So for me, I see age as a positive thing for him to use going forward. Uh, then he can also talk to the women. He's been seen as a champion of women's rights. Uh, a lot of women here are struggling with those issues. Uh, there is talk of abortion. Uh, most recently, IVFs are being uh, uh, challenged in court. So he can appeal to women using stuff like that so that the people understand where he's coming from, that he's a person who really stands up for women's rights. All very well said. Thank you very much. VOS Paul Ndiho speaking to us live from Capitol Hill, downtown Washington, D.C.